Hello you gorgeous lot, so I'm just going to go straight in and prime the eyes today using my MAC Select cover up in NW15 and I am just brushing this all over the lid, not being precise at all, making sure the whole lid's covered and dragging that sort of down the sides of the nose I'm winging it out slightly. Then I'm just going in with a more dense brush to pass it all down in place to set it and then just to buff off those edges ready for eyeshadow. The first shade I'm going to take is the shade Hunt from the Morphe Jacqueline Hill palette and just on this flat crown brush I'm just packing that onto the immediate crease so I'm just patting that all in using the brush and then just using the very tip of the brush and blending off the edge ever so slightly Then to blend out that shade I'm going to go back into my Jacqueline Hill palette and take that shade Creamsicle on a more fluffy brush and just focus that slightly higher up than Hunt's so I'm using that to blend out the previous shade and bringing that a lot further up to the brow bone Then I'm just going back in with Hunt, so I'm just deepening that up again. Same exact movements as before, just patting the colour on and buffing off the edge. Then I'm going to dip into my Juvia's Place to Harden palette and take that gorgeous orange shade Jamila, just on a sort of smaller fluffy brush and focus that directly between those two colours we've already put down. So it creates a more of a transition, a more of a gradient from light to dark on the eye. So I'm just buffing that out because the brush is quite fluffy, it doesn't really need blending. But I am going back in with the previous brush just to make sure that it is all completely blended together. Then I'm going to go in with Jax from the Morphe Jacqueline Hill palette just on this little Morphe brush. And focus that directly in the immediate crease just to deepen it up and add some more depth to the eye look. This brush is perfect for getting right in that crease line as well. You can just focus it there and blend it out and not have to worry about going too high. So just to ease off that harsh line, I am going back in with the first brush we used with a touch of, of Hunt's, just to buff it out and make sure that there's no harsh lines at all. Make sure each colour is still, you know, visible in the gradient of the eyeshadows. And I am just getting my model to open her eyes as well, so when, she's op when her eyes are open you can see all of the colours. So I'm going straight in with some NYX Glitter Glow, just popping that all over the eyelid. And I'm making sure to keep that lower than where I've just put that darkest shade. So I don't want to cover any of that up. And now I'm going in with my favourite glitter ever. This is the iconic 3D Chameleon Copper Glitter. I think that's the full name of it. It's just this gorgeous sort of duochrome effect. I don't know how to explain it. You know, it's orange and green and just it's this amazing amazing glitter to have like the different colours in it I just think it's unreal so I'm just spritzing my brush with a bit of um, Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray and just patting back over that lid over the glitter just to make sure it's all set in place then I am just going ahead and filling in the underneath of the eyes so again just priming those with the MAC Select cover up Then I will be going in with all the shades we've used on top, but I'll be using them in reverse order. So I'll be going the darkest, closest to the lash line. So that's Jax. I'll be taking Jax just right along that lash line just to keep it nice and dark. Then I'm just blending that out with a bit of Hunt. Then finally bringing in that creamsicle shade so there's a nice transition and gradient along the bottom lash as well to match the top. Mm -hmm. 
So I'm just popping on some lashes. My favourite part, just some extra fluffy lashes. Make sure they're sitting nicely along the lash line. Then I'm going to go in with my NYX white eyeliner pencil. This is the retractable one. And I'm just fill, um, popping that on the waterline just to add a nice pop to the look and uh, it opens her eyes a lot more as well. I think it looks unreal with this makeup look. Just that pop of white makes a huge difference to it. Then I am just going ahead and putting a bit of mascara on her lower lash line. And then I will be also popping a bit on the top as well, just underneath the, the falsies. And that's the eye all done. Now it's time for the face. So to prime, I'm taking my MAC strobe cream in pink light and just brushing that on all over the face to create a nice glowy base. Then for foundation, I'll be taking my MAC Studio Fix foundation in NW40 and I did actually pop a pump of my Born This Way foundation in porcelain in as well, just to lighten it up a bit and give it a bit more coverage. So it's just a slight mixture of the two foundations. I am just painting that on all over the skin with my Real Techniques foundation brush. If you've not seen my videos before, this is how I love uh, applying foundation even on myself. I feel like you get a good coverage by painting it on the skin first with a brush. And then I do like to go in with a beauty blender and just bounce that all into the skin and make sure there's no harsh lines or anything from your brush. Just make sure it's all blended to perfection. Then for concealer today, I am taking a mixture of two shades of the Revolution Concealer. This, I'm starting off with shade C6, just, just popping that in all the usual spots to highlight the under eye, bridge of the nose, the centre of the forehead and Cupid's bow in the chin. And then I'm just going in with a touch of C4, just to lighten it up ever so slightly. So then I'm just going back in with just a teeny tiny beauty blender and just bouncing that all into the skin. And if you've not tried the Revolution Concealers yet, you need to go and get them because they are unreal. I've had them in my kit for a little while now and they just am amazed with them. And then just to get that bit right by the lower lash line, I'm going in with a fluffy brush so I don't ruin any of the blend of my eyeshadows. Then I'm just going to take a bit of my L'Oreal Infallible Foundation Stick in 220 Toffee Caramel. I'm just going to use that to create some shadows on her face. So doing a bit of contouring along the jawline, the temples of the forehead and along the cheekbones. Then I'm just blending that out using my Real Techniques Contour Brush. Then once the majority of that's blended with the brush, I do like to go back in with my um, sponge just to blend off any harsh edges. Then I'm just setting the underneath of the eyes using my RCMA No Colour Powder and just slightly in the forehead. Then going in with my Morphe sponge and just baking underneath that contour line to sharpen it up. For bronzer, I will be taking my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Dark Tan just on this peaches and cream brush. Really 
tend to deepen up the bronze slightly and act as a sort of a contour. I'm going to take my Kiko Milano Summer Bronzer. I think it's Sun Celebration Honey, the name of it. Just using this little angled contour brush, not an angled pointed contour brush. Just deepening up everywhere. I've just popped that bronzer and then running it slightly along the nose line. Then I am just brushing away all that bake and re-softening up all those lines. Make sure there's no powder left over and there's no like really harsh lines. Then I'm just going back in with my um, Urban Decay setting spray and then I'll be going straight in with highlight on top. And I am using my Ofra highlighter, the Nikki Tutorials one in Glazed Donut. Just popping that in all the usual spots, so all the cheekbones, the temples of the head the cupid's bow, tip of the nose, a touch on the bridge of the nose and the chin. I'm obsessed with how this highlighter came out, it looks absolutely unreal. I've definitely been working on my highlighter game since I have Mitchell keeps putting all his videos up and the girls just look like they are just drenched in it. So that's what I want everyone to look like because it's just the best thing ever highlighter. Just look at that glow. Just gonna pop on a bit of blush. As you know, I don't really pick a certain one from the Morphe blush, blush palette, so I just dipped into a different couple ones. Popping that on the apples of the cheeks to tie in the highlight and contour. I'm gonna move on to lips, and I'm taking my NYX lip liner in mauve. Just using that to line the lips. Then I'm going to go in with a touch of Primark lip stuff. If you're new here, I'm obsessed with Primark lip products at the moment. So I was using, I think it's my PS Instagirl liquid lipstick, but I couldn't find it to do a little product shot. So I went in with that first and then went over the top with a touch of that peach oil lip gloss in Peach Me, I think it's called, which is a gorgeous lip gloss. It's just a nice nude lip gloss and it smells of peaches. Finally, I'm going to go ahead and fill in the eyebrows, so I'm just brushing up the hairs and then dipping into my sleek brow kit in dark, and just using that to fill through. Now some people might come for me because obviously my model is blonde and her eyebrows are going on pretty dark, but this is how she wears her eyebrows normally, she has dark eyebrows, she doesn't wear them light. And I do find at the moment, I know you've got to be a lot more careful, but doing the brows last, I think it's a lot easier to look at a shape and find a shape, you know, because you've already done everything else. I'm loving doing eyebrows last at the moment. Then just to set those in place, I'm taking my NYX brow gel in black. And that is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again soon. Bye.